Hey guys, I got Maverick with me, and this is going to be our first real session. We've been outside pottying, yes, and yes, good boy. So Maverick's got a tremendous food drive. What does that mean? That means he just wants yes. He is willing to do anything for food. So kind of I'm going to piggyback off of what Anna had talked to you guys already about marker words and yes and all that, and I'm going to extend upon those marker words and show you how we're, what a bridge word is and what a release command looks like. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to show you kind of like in, in live action. I'm going to train with him today with you guys. And I'm going to talk about the words and what it all means as we do it together. So you guys can see it in action. So let's talk about a couple of things. The food is really high value to him. Like I just mentioned, why is that important? It is important because he's looking to solve for how to get it. In his mind, he's like, I'm a predator. My whole purpose in life is to acquire food. And, and that's not a problem. So we need to give him a proper way to getting to the food, right? In nature, he would go on a hunt over here. He has to do tasks. And those tasks will get him what he needs. So think about food as his channel of focus, okay? So he's wondering, how do I get it? Do I jump on him? Do I bark? Do I sit? What do I do? Well, so what are you going to do for this? He's trying to jump, and now he tries to sit. Yes. You guys were, talked about that with Anna the other day. That's a marker word, yes, that lets him know when he's done the right behavior that the food is going to come next. Yes. That lets him know that was correct, and the food is on its way. When he jumps on me, I'm not at that point where we can tell him no just quite yet, um, but we're going to work on that. Yes. We're going to use these same principles to teach this next command right here. This is gonna be the go place. As soon as he's on it, yes. And we'll give him a piece of food for that. Now the trick is teaching him how long he should stay on there without getting off on his own. How does he know that? He's gonna know when I say, okay, that, ah, that's a good boy. That that's when he's allowed to come off. That lets them know he's gotta wait for the release word, that's another marker word, the release command to come off. Go place, that's a command. Good boy is a bridge. Letting him know, good boy, keep doing what you're doing. Good boy, good boy. He's trying really hard, good. Yes, all that effort, all those good boys helped get to the yes. That lets him know the food is coming. Good boy, okay, there you go. Let's try that again. Go please. Good boy. You see he has a lot of energy and he wants to put it somewhere. What we're doing is giving him a place to put it that requires him to hold still. So he's high energy, but the job requires him to stay stable and, and like calm. So he's focusing all of that energy into being calm. Good boy. Giving him hope that he's doing the right thing so he can keep uh-uh, letting him know that was wrong. That's the first time I'm going to introduce the no or the uh-uh command or the marker word. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Good boy. So he can try to figure out. Uh-uh. Good boy. There you go. Good. Yes. There a guy. Okay. So that's kind of like the beginning of the negative marker word, which is a no or uh-uh. And that kind of tells him, hey, you did something wrong. Let's try a different behavior. That was good. When I said that, he sat. So ready, buddy? Go place. Good place. Good boy. Uh-uh. Go place. Come on. Up, up here. There you go. Good boy. Uh-uh. Good boy. Super buddy. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Good job. Good job. Okay. Ready, guy? Go place. Good place, good job, good boy. It's extremely difficult for him to stay calm. That's a good boy. Yes. There you go, buddy. Okay, nice, good job, super job, good job. I'm gonna give him a secondary reward here. Oh, he's found himself one, good boy. That's a nice guy. And like one of the things about training is once they've done a good thing, once they've done some training, when they're puppy like this, you got to let him, let him express his energy and excitement. And then we're going to bring him back and let him focus. So while he does that, while he's 
entertains himself for a minute. Let me like simplify it, right? You got your yes for when the job is done or he's done something that you're like, man, I want him to do that again. And you're going to pay him with food. So the yes and the food are connected. The good boys are no food necessary for that. That just lets him know you're a step closer to me saying the word yes. Um, the negative reinforcement, the negative marker word is uh-uh or no. And in that case, what that means to the dog is what I have just done, like when he hops off, what I've just done, huh, I'm not going to get anything for that. And actually that sounded like a negative tone. So that must be what was wrong. And that's to help them encourage them to do a, a different behavior, which is to return now. And in that case, I'll say good boy again. So they know, okay, leaving was bad. Coming back was good. Anytime we give a negative reinforcement, um, a negative or a correction or guidance or pressure, we always want all that pressure to lead to a better behavior, okay? So that's the whole situation. Now, dogs don't speak English. That's why we have these words and these cues and these markers to help guide them through the world. All of this is so I can build up a, build up a situation where I can start guiding him a little bit more, right? He's still a wild puppy. We're starting to focus him a little bit, but... We have a long way to go. <laughs> One of the cool things about a dog like him, you know, talking about a little bit of anxiety or, or whatever, is that as he does these behaviors, as he does his job now, he'll get more and more confident. And as he gets more and more confident, he's going to have less and less anxiety. And he's going to know, okay, my mom and dad are going to give me cues and help me to get my job done, right? Um, all right, I think um, I'm going to end with recalling him here and asking him to do a couple things for me. Maverick, yes, good boy, good job, Maverick, Maverick, yeah, good boy, come on, yes, perfect, let's go, buddy, Maverick, come on, bud, go place, that's a good boy, that's a good place, super place, buddy, yes, good place, okay, Wow, super bud. That was awesome. That was awesome. Here you go. Wow. Good job. Good job. Go get it. All right, guys. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, please communicate. I will try to make a different video. Otherwise, uh, we'll keep training. I'll talk to you guys later.